Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to modded Minecraft 1.12 playing on the Dire Wolf 20 mod pack. How's everyone doing? Hope you're doing well. Today we're going to work on automated lava production, and I've got a little something to send over to DC. So let's get started. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be working on automated lava production because I've got some stuff to show you. It kind of plays into this general base consolidation project we've been working towards. Let me show you the latest progress here. Notice that the blast furnace is gone, and so is the coke oven, and so is the tinker smeltery. Where could those have gone? Well, I will show you after, after we go check our mail. We've got some mail. We got some from Original Junior and Original Junior. We've got two of them. I think this one probably came second. So let's open this. First, dear sir, I inquire to purchase trade for 200 Silky Wisps. I'm willing to trade anything. Thanks, Silky Wisps. Okay, we will need to take a look at that. Let's see, Silky Wisps. And where do those come from? Who makes those? Tropical. And Edenic. Edenic comes from Exotic and Tropical. That would probably have to come from Javadad, although he did give us the Tropical Species trait. We should be able to make Tropical, but but yeah, there we go. Okay, so, so we'll see Original. I might be able to work something up. For taking the time to read my letter, I am enclosing a gift. A kingly gift, indeed. Thank you very much, sir. So we shall do that. And what can we send in return? Well, we will see what we can do about the Silky Wisps, but not going to quite do that today. We've got some other stuff to take care of. So uh, you've seen the ending or all of the consolidation there. We've been cleaning up. So let's go into storage area here. And as we do with all our other letters, we're going to put those into our storage system. And I need to show you as well, we're going to look up Palladium. Palladium. You remember Palladium? This is a witherproof block. It's one of the ones we've been working towards with our environmental tech ore miners. Here we go. Now, that's that. Let's take a look at what we need to do for today's project, though. We're going to be working on automated lava production. The contents of this chest, it's got a couple projects in it. We're not going to get to all of them. We do need to make a couple of things, though. We need to make uh, some export buses. So let's see what that all entails. Export bus. Okay, we're going to need, I think, three of them. Okay, and we should be able to do... No, 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 no. So how about formation cores? Oh, boy. Can we not do that? Hmm, okay. So let's see if we can look this up. Formation cores. Yes, we do. We've got those. So we need three of those because we need three of these. And, and I've added a new machine over into our auto crafting area. Um, I don't know if we'll get a chance to take a look at that, but it's it's just pulverizers. So we're auto auto crafting pulverized stuff. So uh, you know what? I can show you uh, right here. So we've got a fluid transposer. We, you remember we did that, the black concrete. And if we scroll down here, I've got more auto crafting molecular assemblers in place and then a pulverizer. So there we go. That's, that's, uh, that's how we're doing that. So uh, we should be able to make the export bus again. Can we do that? We need three of them. One, two, and three. Good. And then we also need a couple of ender tanks. And we're going to do this one. Do we have all the parts? No. We need a couple that we're going to be putting on our personal network. So we'll chuck those in there. And then boom and boom. Okay. Can we make orange dye because this is where we're going to be putting our lava that we produce Shoo, can we do this here orange dye we need six and then we need a couple diamonds and we can just go over here like so so lay these out and like that and then uh, all across the top orange 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 okay there we go so we've got our ender tanks. We're going to be putting away. Do we? I don't know if we need both of them in our inventory. And then we've got the various other 
project chests here. We're going to be doing that. We'll leave one of these and one of these, okay? And then what we need is some cable, okay? So this, uh, I'm gonna show you how the export buses work and we're just going to throw it uh, on the system right here like so, okay? So we're gonna take this ender chest and we're going to put it right here. And then we're gonna take this one and put it uh, not, not right there. I wanted it to go above. Can we do that please? Please and thank you. Thank you, okay, good. And then up here, we're gonna do this one. And then we also probably need to get some acceleration cards. Uh, you know, I'll show you those, uh, why we're doing that in just a moment. So we'll put export buses all along here. And what these do is these tell the ME system to export whatever we put right here in, in the center inventory slot. And we are going to be exporting some, where is it? Where is it? We're looking for this right here, phosphor. Okay, and we're going to put this into our light blue cyan, light blue ender chest. Just right like so. And we have enough room for four of those acceleration cards and we can just chuck that right back in there. Then we're going to take, uh, what kind of marble do we have? We're gonna be exporting marble over to DadCraft. So let's see, what's the most, we've got the regular raw marble right there. And then we're also going to do sand, which is right here, okay? So we will be, you can already see we've got Phosphor coming into there. We're going to export sand into this one and marble into this one. You might be wondering, why are you doing that? Well, because Dadcraft has a need of marble because he's building a massive, massive pyramid over in his base. And so we are going to be exporting marble to him. Now we do need to make some acceleration cards. Uh, we need four of them each and there's three. So 12 total, right? Three times four is 12. You get math here on the Soap the Great channel. So let's see, we've got all 12 now, and then we can just go like so, like so, and like so, and you'll see it goes much more quickly. Of course, it's pulling out a ton of items right there and right there. Okay, so that's all full. That's all full. Good, 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 good. Now we need to get a letter. And we need to make one. Can we do that? Yes, we can. Let's put the elytra in there just, just in case, okay? And then let's grab some stamps. I've already made those up. We got 42. That is the answer to everything. Now, let's see. We need to grab the rest of these items, but we'll come back in here for, for that. Uh, what we need to do is write the letter to dadcraft73, and we'll say, for your marble needs. Good luck. And we will take this ender chest and put it on, and then we should be able to put a couple of stamps on. Yes, and that takes away if we do that. We still need a stamp. Good, okay. That means we can go out to our mailbox and put this away. So let's come out of the compact machine. Wait for it, wait for it, and boom. Uh, let's see. Original Junior is on with me. He is working on some Batania stuff, and I don't need, I don't know if he needs to keep the knight or not, but we are going to right click that into our mailbox, and there we go. It's sent off to Dadcraft. And now, what we need to do is go back into our storage auto crafting thing here, and then we will go up one level, actually back down one level because we didn't grab our items here. We're going to take this whole thing. We've got the storage crate keeper in, which means that we can keep this. Let's just make sure we got the export buses. Good. Oh, we need a squeezer. Aha. Yeah, we need to make a squeezer. So let's do that real quick. See, I write notes for myself uh, so that I remember what I need to do whilst on camera. So here we go. We've got the squeezer. Excellent. Did I already have? I already had a sturdy casing in there. Nice. We can throw that and that away and we'll keep the ender tank. Hopefully we have everything here. We've got reinforced. We need reinforced our hardened fluid duct because we're going to be exporting lava. Okay. And then, you know what? Let's just make a couple more tanks. Uh, that's at res 
uh, resonance and then tank. Yeah, we'll make hmm, uh, maybe four more. Let's do that because, you know, I like that. That'll give us a little bit of an extra buffer. So we got the storage crate keeper. We've taken care of the export buses. Good. And the squeezer for lava. The next two, we're not going to do that quite yet. Uh, if we have time today, we will get onto that particular project, but uh, not for now. Let's go into the machines. I moved the thermoelectric generator compact machine out because uh, I had a suspicion it was causing some issues on the server. I don't know, but I could be incorrect about that. Now, you might be thinking, what? Well, there's not much different here. We've got some... I did go for uh, setting up some redstone furnaces. This is... Uh, this is my food production one and then this is just you need to smelt some stuff really quickly and so we've got the full-on resonant with tons of reception coils okay so we're good there but if we look up there's there's something else over there let's take a look at this second floor here okay this is where i moved the uh, immersive engineering stuff and then we've got creosote oil coming out of the coke oven going into that set of tanks and then if we have any extra going into the fluid trash can and you've seen this stuff before so we've got that and then I've got my tinker's smeltery over here and then my overall tinker's area right here so uh, we just moved it out of our house because that's what we're doing now why are we going to be doing lava well we need to do lava because I don't want to have to fill this thing up ever again ever again and we've got plenty of items coming in from our our bees that we may be able to do this so what we need to do is grab, uh, let's grab all of that up and then let's get this guy. And then we will put down our bag of tricks here. Just put that right there. And we need to get this ender chest, that ender chest. One's got the phosphor, one's got the sand and all of that's going to be coming into the squeezer and then lava is coming out. Okay, you with me so far? So that means we're going to need, um, well, we are going to need, uh, I put away uh, the sink. We probably should keep the sink right here because there is another thing that we need to make. And that is one of these, no, not there. Um, it's, I've done this with you before. It's the circuit board, right? We need the advanced circuit board this guy we can do that and then how much water does that require a bucket do i have a bucket on me yes i do look at that you know we'll just put the personal shrinking device there so that i don't inadvertently leave okay and then we need to throw those items in there we should be getting an intricate circuit board right like that okay so next order of business we need to grab say some uh, do I have? Yeah, hardened flux duct right here. Okay, we're going to do that. And then we'll do that. Seems good, right? So, yeah, yeah. What do you think? Hopefully that's fine. And then we will put our squeezer on like that. Okay. And then let's just stack these two. <laughs> um... How about, how about just like this? Okay, so we've got sand coming in and we've got phosphor coming in. Okay, and we should be able to grab some impulse item ducts. So we'll do that. Like so. Okay. And then we need a couple of servos. And I don't know how fast they need to be. Maybe we'll do the reinforced, you know, just in case. But, but really, once this thing fills up, it's not like... We really need to continue um, uh, like we need it coming in that fast. So let's do that and then that. Okay, it should, maybe. Okay, so we got what, one, two, three, four, five sand, four of a uh, tank is full. Yes, of course the tank is full. That's fine. What we need to do is come over here, grab our circuit board, and then get our soldering iron and blazing electron tube. We can do this, put that in there, and then those four. Uh, do, do. Can we do that? Uh, no, no, no. 
we need to do machine upgrade. Okay, I see. And that'll give us the Big Daddy circuit board right there. So that's going to go pretty quickly. Okay, so far so good. We can put away our soldering iron. And then what we need to do is grab hardened fluid duct. And we're going to say uh, accept and then send this up here like so. And then we'll grab another one of these reinforced servos and we will do that. And we should see it gradually getting... Okay, yeah, it's filling up. And this right here, ladies and gentlemen, is hooked up to my smelter right here. So now I don't have to fill up my smeltery array or my smelting, yeah, my tinker smeltery anymore. We're going to have lava coming in and no matter what. Now, one other thing of business is this particular ender tank. And what I want to do is uh, maybe, maybe, uh, let's just put this like so we're going to say provide and then put this right here and that should is that going to take it no no that's yeah that's on provide so that's not going to work we may need to put this over against the fluid duct okay let's try that shall we can we do that okay so, so that's good. And we should be able to put this fluid duct down. Good. Okay. So we are getting, we can send lava through the ether. However, it sends it through some ender network. And that's all full now. And this is going to be full. What's this say? Tank is full. Okay. Good enough. Excellent. So we've got that done. Is there anything else we need to do over here? Yeah, this is kind of ugly, don't you think? Right? So what do we do about that? We're going to play with the structure ducts right here. We'll grab that. And then we need, uh, do I have any more here? Yes, I've got a marble cover. And I meant to show you that one, but uh, how that works. But let's, let's see if we can do, do that. Okay. Um, you can kind of see it right through there. What if we were to maybe take this up? And then go like so. Good, 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 good. And one of the neat things about the thermodynamics structure duct or structure covers is that uh, they they still tile. So so you get the these continuous lines here. What is what's that called? Connected textures. That's it. So the next order of business. Now I, I actually want to show you how these things work. So we're going to take this carpet off, right? Like so. And we still want to get rid of all of that. So um, I'm going to grab these marble covers here. And then I've got the chisel right here. Uh, no, you go right here. And then we'll take a chisel. And we'll put one of these big tile marbles on. And I believe it's disordered tiles, right? Yeah, disordered tiles. And we take this structure duct. And you know what? While we're at it, I need to show you the recipe. It's pretty simple. Iron nugget and two iron nuggets and a lead ingot. And that gives you a structure duct. And what you do is you mix those with a block and you get these marble covers. Or, well, I didn't want to do it with that one. I wanted to do it with this one right here. And so now we've got eight of these that we can put over top of thermodynamics uh, ducting or ductwork. And there you go. And it's hidden. And so there we go. And now there's no more, there's no change in texture right here. And you don't fall through the floor while you're walking across. So I would dare say we've done it pretty well. Now we didn't get to everything. Okay. We didn't do all the rest of these items that I had thought I was going to do, but we don't really have time to get into that. So, uh, yeah, I think that we will keep that for next time. We do need to get into... Oh, I can't, I can't pick that up. I need another keeper. Yeah. So let's just throw the rest of these items in here. You know what? Throw you on the wall so that you're contributing to our overall uh, storage, storage mount. So uh, let's go here and maybe 
now leave the premises. Okay. So final look. Yeah. Good. So far, so good. We got automated lava going. Let's come out of there and then maybe throw this guy down right here. Okay. So far, so good. And let's go over here. Leave the premises again. Okay. It's taking it a little bit. It's got to do some thinking. And okay. We're we've exited. Yes. There we go. And up. Now, if you take a look up top, I have gotten rid of the windmills because we don't really need those anymore. We've got our solar array. I am going to be going to the next tier, but I'm going to do that off camera. I have shown you that whole process before. We don't need to see it again. We've got to get these two items moved into a compact machine. And then let's go down here so we can see. I have currently turned off the ore miner because I think it's contributing to uh, some power issues here at the base. I need to go to the next level up for our solar array and that should that should help us out. But but here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Not too shabby. That's the tier three one. So it's a little bit bigger, larger radius right here, more items overall, but it does give us the palladium that we need for witherproof blocks. That is the extent that we're going to be going with the environmental tech or miners. So hopefully, hopefully you're cool with that. And if you aren't, let me know why. If you are cool with it, well, thank you. Anyway, that's going to be it, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully you enjoyed this quick little project. We've got automated lava running over in our machine, compact machine. Yes, that's right. Machineception here. Machines within a machine. That's, that's pretty awesome. But Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, a like is always appreciated. And if you haven't done so already, think about subscribing so you're up to date with everything going on on the channel. That's going to be it for now. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.